Bit of intro music there for you, you know, because um, I'm not very good with uh, computers, you know. Um, okay, so I wanted to show you this motherboard, and um, because I wanted to show off how impressive the 486 motherboard I'm going to show you really is. Now this is a 386 motherboard I'm going to show it to you first, but it is typical of the 386 and 486 motherboards of the era that this motherboard was actually produced. Um, and what I mean by that is um, what I'm going to show you now. Um, for example, they had an AT style connector for the keyboard. To install a PS, uh, uh, PS2 style keyboard and mouse, you have to have an add-on card. You also need the add-on card for the hard drive, for the floppy drive, for the serial port and everything else. Because the motherboard was just a motherboard, it wasn't anything else. Now, the battery was also built onto the motherboard in this, and if you look at some of my previous videos, you see I've removed a mo uh, an actual battery off a brand new 386 motherboard. This isn't a brand new one, this is, an, uh, this is one that's been used, uh, and as you can see, there's a bit, bit, bit of corrosion. This board is actually still working, and um, so that is a good thing. We'll just zoom in there and I'll try to show you, see if it focuses up there. There you are now. How's that now? So, as you can see there, you know, there's... Oh my God. God, dirt. Um, so as you can see, uh, the actual resistors here have got a bit of corrosion on them. Nothing major, but uh, there you have it. Uh, as you can see, there's the AT style um, connector for the keyboard. And uh, that's the actual keyboard controller itself. There, this big, big, big chip here. You know, ooh, my thing looks really big. By the way, the most important part on the motherboard is actually this little oscillating crystal here. This little silver little cylinder. Without that, the motherboard won't function. Um, because basically that oscillates at a given frequency that the computer knows about and therefore you can have uh, you know, all the frequencies you want in the motherboard. Now there would be frequency clocks on the motherboard uh, like uh, this little baby here which will give different frequencies uh, and the idea of that is like for frequencies of your, your, your cache RAM, cache RAM or your, your processor and so on and so forth. Um, so you will see these on, on, on older motherboards, you won't see them on the more modern motherboards because you know they've been reduced in size. But you will see that cylinder. Look at that little cylinder on your, in your more modern PC. You'll still see that. That still exists. Um, okay, so this motherboard itself, let's let's just come out there a bit. This is the main processor, the 386 processor. The Matsco processor would, would, would have normally went in this slot. Uh, and then of course here's your BIOS chip. Uh, this is your, your system RAM. Uh, this is your, uh, you know, hold on a second now. This is your hold on a second now. Um, these two chips here are your North and South Bridge. I'll let you figure that one out, which is North and which is South. Um, it's a kind of a little hint there. Um, and also, a little thing on this motherboard. Now, I've actually ran Command and Conquer on this motherboard. Uh, and what I've done was I actually moved this little jumper here. Let's see, I hope this focuses in there now. Let's come out a bit. Come on, in you go. Go on. There we go. Ah, that's lovely. Now, these, this little chip, this little jumper here, this is called a jumper, this little thing. So I'll put up my finger there. Oh, that wasn't very clever, was it? <laughs> yep. That is what's known as a jumper. Or if you're Irish, a Gansey. So that's a Gansey. Now, that little jumper... Uh, depending on whether you have it on and off, allows the AT clock to be either 8 or 6 megahertz. My god, that's fast. Um, I let that at 8 megahertz. I installed Command and Conquer on this machine. I also had a, a, an Intel uh, 387 uh, 33 megahertz coprocessor running along with the main processor, which is AMD, uh, and a ran Command and Conquer at an acceptable level. Uh, I didn't do it to play that game on it because I had a, a Pentium 120 at the time, um, but uh, it, it did let you do it. Now, let me show you something else. This here is the BIOS chip. Okay. Now the BIOS chip on this motherboard is a uh, this EEPROM, erasable program with read-only memory, is of the UV light type. So to upgrade this particular BIOS in this machine, you either bought a new BIOS chip or you bought an expensive piece of kit that allowed you to basically flash this BIOS and install a new uh, you know piece of software on. It's terrible. So this is typical. Of the 486 at the time, you'll probably see this, you know, a 386 BIOS written here. Instead of saying, you know, 386 on it, obviously, like this one does, you'll see a uh, uh, 486 BIOS written on it instead. 
Uh, AMI, by the way, is American Negatrans, just in case you're wondering. And if it'll just focus there now, it'll be great. Down a little bit. There we are. AMI is American Megatrends, uh, 386. Again, 486 bias, the same idea. EEPROM, erasable program, read only memory. UV light, blah, blah, blah. Waste of time. Now let's get to the machine I want to show you. I must get some oil to that work time. Look at that. So, this is the 486 board. That, uh, if you haven't watched the video yet, uh, I suggest you have a look at the Riven video here uh, on my channel on YouTube. Uh, the reason being is it'll actually show you this motherboard actually in action. Uh, so I've got, I've got two of these boards here at the minute, so I'm going to try to put them side by side so I can go around the boards a little bit quicker. Uh, again, you've got the... Uh, uh, again, on this particular chipset, uh, yep, obviously you've got the 486. There's no... There's, a, there's a, 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 mo a lot of motherboards you'll find there's two sockets on the 486. This board didn't have that. Um, you can see there's an extra row of pins around the, around the actual processor. This 486 can be taken out of here and you can put in the uh, Intel Pentium 83. Uh, or you can also put in the AMD 133. Now the AMD 133 is going to need the one with the fan on it. Basically the one that's made specifically for this board. Um, because if you just stick in an AM386-586-133, an AM what it'll do is it'll cook it, because there's no voltage regulation on this board. It's designed for an Intel chip, uh, so you know what I mean. You, you have to go and basically you know, regulate. There's no regulation. Uh, this is the system cache, or cache. Uh, I keep calling it cache. It's a habit I've gotten into. This board is that good. It's only got the one main chip. Look, it's integrated. Integration. Now that's impressive. Uh, no North South Bridge, no wishy washy flim flam pissing about, you know. Good chip. What we got here then is we've got uh, the BIOS. Now this BIOS is flash programmable, which is extremely impressive. Um, so that basically meant that you could, in this case, this is a Dell motherboard, but in this case, you could pop onto the Dell website. Download the flash. Oh, there's that little tube again. Look, uh, download the flash, and then just basically upgrade it via floppy disk. So that's fantastic. You, you know, you just don't get that. Um, this motherboard does sport uh, two extension VLB slots. Um, now, just to show you uh, the VLB slots. Um, at the moment, I'm zooming in on nothing really. This is the ATI video card. Okay, and as you can see, then it sticks in. So the piece at this end here is your 8 bit. The bit down here, if it, it goes, if it went as far as there, it would be 16 bit. But it doesn't need it because the extension piece at the end is 32 bit. And as you can probably see, that looks like a reversed PCI slot. You'd be correct because this 32 bit slot was used later on to uh, create the PCI video card, uh, PCI slot later on, you know, which then allows you to use PCI video cards and sound cards and so on. But really, for video, this is the this is the leap that you know computers needed. But this is a great stopgap between the 386 board, the 486 board, and the then Pentium. And once we went to Pentium and started putting PCI slots in, uh, things got a lot better. You will find a rare uh, few of these online that would take the Pentium, would actually be designed for Pentium. Um, generally, you won't because VLB is basically clock, clock linked and it's actually directly memory mapped. To the 486 so it works great with 486 but not very good with the higher pentiums that's probably the reason why when you run it with the 83 from intel it runs pretty well but when i ran it with the amd one i was getting some sort of sketchy results so what else is great about this board well what else is great about it is it has a cirrus logic video card built into it with one meg of ram now the standard that this motherboard used to come with was 512 with extension okay so you could add on the extra 512 that gave you one one meg in total Okay, which is fantastic. So again, of course, then you got the VGA header. There you are now. Ooh, it zoomed in that time without any problem. <laughs> so, VGA header. You got the feature connector. You got a parallel port built in. That's feature connector down. The parallel port built in. You got your ATA slash IDE interface, and you got your floppy drive. And it's all built into the board. You don't need an extra additional add-on card that plugs in here with loads of bits hanging off it. The motherboard has it, so it's integration, so things are getting better, you know. And um, We also have serial ports here at the back as well. Uh, this here is for the battery. So again, 
the battery on this was was uh, velcroed on in another spot in the, on the, on, in, inside the case. So, I mean, unfortunately, to keep time on this, all the batteries are all dead at this stage. And um, so, what I just generally do is when I turn it on, I go into the BIOS, I set the date and the time, and then I leave the machine on and play around with it. You know, um, apart from that, you could probably get your own battery and stick it on here, and things would work out fine. Um, a lithium battery is the best option. The nickel cadmium or you know zinc carbon or whatever aren't very good batteries. The other great thing about this is look at that PS2 style keyboard and mouse built in. Now things don't get much better than that now, do they? So this is the quality of this motherboard. This is a good motherboard from Dell. It, it, it's it's a very very good board. You, you're not going to get much better than this for 486, and that's why. Uh, when I was selling the one I did sell on eBay, I was trying to explain to people that it's a very, very good board. The integration on this board is fantastic. The quality of the board is fantastic. It's using the Opti Premium chipset. You know, it just it is a very, very good board. It's very fast, and um, it runs nicely, and it gets the job done. I also run Windows 98 on this machine. On you know, in an, I did run Windows 98 on this machine. You know, it works. Um, generally with the rhythm one there I have 95 on it because it does run a lot better you know and um, this little fella here is part of the system cache cache and um, this is the cache here okay and uh, again that can be over here the jumpers you can change what size this cache is uh, up to a maximum of 256k uh, and um, these chips here can be missing but this chip here must be here because this chip is needed to actually control these guys um basically without this chip here these guys here start to malfunction um i've tried it and it doesn't work you know and um, so you really need to leave this fellow here and um, again most of these boards wouldn't have this installed you can get these later on and uh, yourself if you just look at that model number there um, i actually bought these there myself and put them in so take note of that number look it up and you'll find that those chips are, are easily available um, not hard to get um, ok that's 12 minutes of your precious time no doubt um, I hope you enjoyed this short video um, that's the other 4 x 6 board there I hope you found it somewhat informative and uh, that's basically it thanks a million